Hi, this is Minik from Boxcar Marketing with your one minute marketing tip. And today's tip is about applying filters in Google Analytics. Or more importantly, it is about making sure that you have a profile that contains raw data. So data that doesn't have any profile filtering on it. So Google Analytics offers this really great uh, feature which is profile filters and those are used primarily to change or modify the data that is appearing in your Google Analytics reports. The reason why you might want to do that is for example you have designers and developers, internal staff or marketers who are constantly accessing and updating your website. That data set or people who are, who are coming to your site from internal sources you may not want to be tracking that in terms of your site performance because it's going to affect the amount of time on site, how many visits. You may in fact want to filter out those people in order to more clearly see what people on your site are doing who you're, are your actual audience. You want to be able to see what do those people do in terms of signing up for a newsletter or donating money to your cause or paying for a product or service you offer. In that case, you probably have set up filters based on maybe IP address or location or some type of information that that, that filter is actually um, changing or modifying what is appearing. So again, this is a really great thing to have, but the, the key thing is that those filters that are applied at a profile level permanently modify the data that is being tracked in analytics. So, for example, if you make a mistake or if you need to change some of those parameters, you always want to have a raw profile. So a profile that has raw data. It's like a science experiment. It's your control subject. So that you always have a profile that hasn't been modified in any way. So my one minute marketing tip is to go to Google Analytics to click on the little gear icon um, that's going to allow you to see the profile settings. You're going to look at the profile settings and make sure that you have a profile that is raw or raw data or controlled data. If it doesn't exist, you want to create it. And you basically are going to create that profile without any type of filter so that you always have access to what that raw data says so that you can compare it um, in the case of filters that go wrong or things that don't work. You always have that nice control subject. So my name is Manik and I'm from Boxcar Marketing. That's your one minute marketing tip. Thanks.